Piscians, it's Amanda here with your July 2017 room scope. This month in conjunction with the runes, I will be using the Medieval Scapini Tarot by Luigi Scapini. Uh, then be sure to meet me over on Vimeo as always for part two of your reading, where I will be pulling one card from the Ascended Masters Oracle by Doreen Virtue to get your spiritual advice regarding whatever we may be dealing with in the reading. So um, the link is below in the details section. Also over on my Vimeo page, you're gonna find the mid-year check-in room scope. Those cover July through December for each sign of the zodiac. So you're gonna wanna check those out. They are at the top of the list and then your spiritual guidance uh, videos will be under those over on Vimeo. Uh, you'll just need to uh, click or tap load more on the list over there on Vimeo. To find the link to the channel, it's below. Just click or tap show more below this video, or you may just have to click the little arrow that opens that details section if you're on a handheld device. But let's see here, Pisces, focus on July 2017, first of all for the runes, and see what's going on with Pisces. July 2017. Pisces, July 2017, which brings want to speak to my Pisceans. What do they need to know? July 2017, there it is. Now, as always, Pisces, these are general readings. So not all of these messages will be talking about you or apply to you even. Um, that's why I always encourage you to check out the video for your rising sign as well. That will give you additional information. Uh, regarding what's going to be going on for you in uh, the month of July. Now, if you would like something far more specific and long ranging, about a year, nine to 12 months is what my private sessions tend to cover, uh, definitely contact me for a Skype session. Uh, my Skype sessions are $70. Just drop me a line at the email address in this video. It's also below the video. We can set that up for you. All right, what do we got going on for my Pisceans in July? Okay, July 2017. Challenge or focus? Well, you got the nine of coins. So you are focused on money. You are focused on wealth. You are wanting to amass wealth. <laughs> Most of you, it's just in the mundane sense. I'm trying to improve my money. I am trying to get some money rolling in. And the challenge with that may be that there is just a bit of a delay. Maybe you haven't found the right gig yet. Um, maybe you've launched a business. This can also be like a home business with the Nine of Pentacles um, or coins in this deck because it talks about being independent, you know, not really having to answer to anyone and having everything that you need. Um, and uh, especially financially, but um, some of you, it may just be that, yes, you're making the dough. You're going to have the dough coming in, but the work is not, I mean, it may not be something you're really super excited about, but it pays well. And you're like, well, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Um, <laughs> so, uh, or, but yeah, some of you may have to, um, if it is a home business, it may be one of those things where you have to kind of go travel and talk to somebody in a distant location, even though you'll be working from home, but you may have to fly in and do the, do an in-person interview or, or something of that nature, or you may have to like travel a long way. Um, those of you that don't work at home, it could be, yeah, you get a good gig, but it's like, oh, I may have to move to, you know, or it's a longer commute. There's something about travel in regards to making money. Um, or, you know, I may have to drive a long way or I may have to relocate and I don't know how I feel about that. So, cause that's coming up as the challenge, but really when nine of coins is your challenge, Pisces, that's not really a challenge. If you've been concerned about money, I mean, it means like it's there for the taking, but yeah, you may have to do work. That's not, um, all that thrilling. Um, it may be mundane or rigorous, but, um, you can improve your financial situation significantly starting in July of Pisces if you if you want to. Um, but some of you, it may just be that you're interviewing and uh, in July and then there is just a bit of a delay before you can start raking in that dough. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna be bringing in good money when I start this job, but maybe for whatever reason, 
you're not starting um, until later in July or even August for some of you, but you know it's coming. That's the thing. You know it's gonna be coming in. Now, as in the present energy, as we move from June into July, uh, we have the Pope, which is the Hierophant in other decks. So this card talks about um, structure and authority and tradition, um, playing by the rules. Um, and the, again, we have Fehu uh, coming up here. So that is, a, again, about money. So there's a job offer coming in, but it, yeah, it may be like a very like regimented, there's a lot of rules, a lot of regulations. Um, you're gonna have to go through some training. You're gonna like, um, and it may be for a big corporation because this card also talks about institutions, right? Um, government, uh, religion, of course, but uh, government, higher education, academic uh, things hospitals um, but yeah something that is required to follow certain regulations certain guidelines um, either within the corporation itself or within the government structure hospital structure they've got to meet all these requirements so there are a lot of rules and regulations so but the money's good <laughs> that's, that's what you're focused on but um, yeah, for some of you, it could be that you're going on an interview and you're a little bit like, something seems kind of fishy here, or, you know, it kind of seems like, you know, I'm gonna be picking up the slack or doing stuff for other people or fixing other people's work. Maybe that's part of the job. Maybe you're an editor, or you're gonna be um, like in QA, quality assurance, where you are checking other people's work for mistakes, correcting mistakes, or um, maybe you'll be a supervisor in charge of, um, and it could be your job to make sure people follow the rules. Maybe some of you are working for like a regulatory agency. Are you getting a job? Like where it's your job to kind of go in and check out? Like I'm thinking of those people that go in the restaurants and make sure there are no, you know, it's not dirty or whatever. Uh, like the board of health, that sort of thing. That's gonna apply obviously to a fewer number of you, but uh, you get the idea. Somebody who is going in and making sure things are up to par or making sure things are ready to go out, uh, be released to the world in some way. Um, but yeah, it, at the 1st of July, you may be kind of feeling like, I, I wonder if this is, you know, it kind of sounds kind of sketchy. You may just find them reticent to give up details or, or, or um, like hesitant to talk about certain things, but this may, again, just be part of their protocol. Like maybe they can't discuss salary until they reach a certain point in the interview process or something, you know? Um, or it could just be, again, that you have no idea what you're getting into until you're actually into it and you're like, oh my gosh, there's a lot of work and the money is good, but man, I don't know if I can do this long term. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna make as much money as I can make and then maybe move on. The help that's gonna be available to you though, Knight of Coins. So, Knight of Coins, again, money, and he's coming up with the room of the job interview or academics, learning. So there could be a training phase here. Um, Knight of Coins is bringing you money or bringing you news about money, saying, hey, yes, I wanna to talk to you. Uh, could you come for an interview? Um, or, you know, let's chat over the phone. Uh, let's talk about, uh, when you're going to be available and what this entails, etc. Now, this could also literally be a person who is a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but this could also be news coming that you got into a, a college you wanted to go to in the fall, that you've been accepted into a course of study or a program. And um, for many of you, though, it may not be starting right away. Again, there's a bit of a delay. He's a slow moving knight. So he's the slowest moving knight uh, in the deck. He's still on a horse. I mean, things are moving. He's just kind of going, you know, he's on the old horse that's kind of walking really slow. It takes him a while to get where he's going. So, um, but I think you're really gonna like this person that you interview with. I, I think you're gonna find him very straightforward. 
um, and answering all your questions. So I don't think for many of you, this is the same person that you may talk to initially because we were kind of getting that things may be fuzzy and cloudy at the beginning of July, June or end of June going into July and your present energy in regards to money. Um, but then after you talk to this person, it's a lot more clear what will be expected of you. But yeah, there's an element of, um, yeah, training, learning, studying, uh, a period that you will go through learning the ropes because again there's a lot to learn it seems like for most of you with with a, whatever this career direction is um, some of you are going for a full degree program so uh, you know but you will be starting that probably in the fall many of you maybe that's the delay but so yeah it's gonna be like yeah you got the job but first you got to go through this training period or your start date may be later in July or even into August but um, the money is good with Fehu and Nine of Coins. I mean, you're going to be really excited about finally, uh, you know, what, whatever I'm doing, at least I won't have to worry about paying the bills anymore. Or, or um, at least I won't have to worry about um, being able to spend money on something I want to spend it on. Um, and for many of you, that's real estate because o Othelia is here. So many of you may be uh, wanting to move, wanting to purchase a home, purchase property for your family, maybe you're expanding your family. Um, because what I'm getting is like, yeah, a whole group wants, wants to purchase new property or buy a new home. Or so, you, so many of you, I feel, even though you may be unsure if this is gonna be a long-term job, those of you that this is a, a work situation you're moving into, um, some of you may be thinking, well, if I can get this job, maybe it will lead to something else and we can finally move. We can purchase a, a property and expand. Um, so there's gonna be a lot of funds available for what you wanna do, Pisces, or at least the promise of that in July. The card here in the what must be accepted position is the, uh, the two of wands in reverse. So um, this kind of talks about like making a decision pretty quickly. Uh, in the upright, it can be two different paths, two different options or opportunities. In the reverse, I feel like if you do have more than one opportunity, one's going to feel more right than the other. Um, for some of you, maybe <laughs> maybe one of these opportunities is this one that seems kind of fishy, but the money is good, but you're not getting a lot of information. And then you talk to this Knight of Pentacles and, and this Knight of Coins. And that's the one. For some of you, these are two different things. The big corporate kind of bureaucratic institution, but then this uh, Knight of Coins, it's something else entirely and something maybe more in line with what you want or with the schedule that you want. Um, that could be another thing with this, with AWAS here with the Knight of Coins coming up in the challenge is that it could be, um, maybe it's the money's great, but it's like a, a second shift or third shift job, or you would have to totally change your schedule up in order to, to do this work. So, um, that's another possibility there. But, um, so yeah, I am seeing you, uh, weighing some things, deciding on some things, but whatever you have to choose between, it's going to be a pretty easy decision. There's one that you're just more passionate about. There's one that just suits you more or is more um in line with your schedule or it just feels less stressful and maybe there's less rule you know fewer rules and regulations or or the training period shorter or or something of that nature um but would still bring in the money enabling you to to move from home now many of you are just you know again working from home or this is going to be a job working from home with others it's like you'll be part of a team but um, essentially, you'll be working independently. Uh, and for many of you, those of you that are like uh, stay-at-home moms, this could be like, I'm going to do this to earn extra money, but then I can still be home with the kids during the summertime or uh, when they go back to school. You know, I can take them to school, pick them up, all that stuff. Um, so it's benefiting the family financially, but also in a care sense because you'll be there to, to look after things. So, um, Yara is here indicating that um, you're, this is a reward for efforts expended, right? Either actual effort that you've put into finding a job, effort from the past, gaining the experience that you've gained, or the efforts you put into doing whatever you need to do to get into college. Um, 
some of you may be getting ready to retire those of you that are of that age and you may be dealing with you know an institution or bureaucratic organization trying to get your retirement set up your 401k figuring all of that out so that you can purchase a vacation home or retirement home um, that the whole family can enjoy even extended family I'm seeing yeah I'm seeing some of you getting like a seaside place a cottage or a condo or something that everyone in the family can uh, can use and that you're gonna spend a lot of time there so some of you are planning for retirement but um, you're probably gonna be seeking advice from someone this night of coins uh, maybe you're talking to him like well, hey when can I retire and he, he may be like well you're gonna have to work a little bit longer but then like if you want that vacation home, here's what you, you have to do. But um, so yeah, for some of you, you may be finding out, oh, there's just a bit of a delay um, around me moving or around maybe paying off this property or paying off this house. Um, but yeah, between you and as part of the team, either you and other family members or you and other people you'll be working with, you're gonna be able to make this happen because you your outcome for the month is the magician. So that is all about taking control. Um, those of you that are interviewing for a position, trying to get into college, um, you have everything you need to accomplish this. So if you are looking for work, you have all of the skills, all of the education, all of the experience level that you need. Some of you may have been questioning that if you were running into obstacles over, over the past months when we had all those retrograde planets, maybe you were thinking, oh my gosh, maybe I need to go back to school. Maybe I need to get a certification or uh, take a course or something. Maybe I'm just not up to snuff when it comes to what they want. That was just an illusion. I Because whenever this card shows up, it's like, no, you don't need anything else. It's just maybe the opportunities have been sparse. Um, but now things are picking up and you're feeling like you are back in control. You're manifesting things that you want. And there may be one thing in particular, the job or the property um, or the education you're gonna get, those of you planning to go off to college uh, in the fall, it's gonna change your life. It's like once you walk through this doorway, your life is completely changed for the better. Uh, so whatever you've been going through the first part of the year, Pisces, I mean, I'm really seeing that uh, you're coming out of it now and, and really coming, kind of walking back into your power, waltzing back into your power is what I heard. I don't know, maybe some of you are, you know, gonna be so happy you're kind of dancing around uh, when you get some news or after this job interview or uh, after you purchase this property. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy to see that uh, family relations will be going better as well, or any group associations will be going better as well. Things will be on a more level or stable playing field. And um, yeah, again, teamwork, everybody coming together. After maybe a trying time, a difficult time, where everybody's patience was kind of tested and there may have been disruptions and arguments and disagreements with all those retrograde planets. We had some stuff going on in June too uh, in regards to that that was affecting some people in their family life. So um, I do feel like that is that period is coming to an end and you're entering a, a very powerful phase, Pisces where uh, a powerful phase of manifestation, especially when it comes to money and career, landing the job, getting the experience that you need for your dream job, getting the education that you need to get your dream job. Um, the only really drawback I see is, yeah, there may be, it will be kind of trusting your intuition and figuring out maybe what when we were talking about like something seeming kind of fuzzy, when something feels off or you're feeling like this person isn't giving me the full story or this person isn't giving me the information that I need, they're not answering my questions. I ask them a question and they answer it with another question. Just be aware of that, but you guys are so intuitive. You're gonna know probably before they even talk that something's kind of up with this uh, organization or situation, so. Uh, trust that, as you always do. Uh, it's going to be right on target. 
and whatever isn't the right situation to bring in the money you will be finding the right one in july or hearing back from the right place in july so that is what i see pisces for july again meet me over on vimeo um your and be sure to check out kind of where this is all heading with your mid-year check-in room scope july through december that's over there and then under those just again hit load more and you'll get to the spiritual guidance reading i'm going to shuffle the ascended masters oracle i want to see what more what information and guidance we can get from that deck about this murky information or or this delay whatever that is and whatever this uh job is to kind of be avoided or this college or course that you should maybe just forego. So meet me over there and I'll see you back here next month.